I want to get this in here as well, because I know it's something that you have been talking about, and it's in the medical industry. This is a former UPenn associate dean uh, telling Fox and Friends first um, that medical schools are virtual signaling with their new curriculum, and doctors are talking about the impact that is having on medicine now. Listen to this. The diagnosis that's been made is that there's racism in healthcare that's producing this disparate outcome. The difficulty is there's no evidence that that's true. There are thousands of studies that are terrible that don't prove the point. This seems to be a virtue signaling activity that's gone on, and I think it's way more than half. It's probably all the medical schools. Wow. Vivek, what is the risk with medical schools virtue signaling? So look, I think that this is just another symptom of a cancer that has infected one institution of American life after another. Turns out medicine is not an exception. And when you racialize something, you ultimately silence actually open debate because people are afraid of being called racist. So the supposed studies in favor of finding systemic racism, say in the medical system, those get published, whereas any contrary studies will not get published because of the culture of fear. You actually saw the editor-in-chief of The Lancet, one of the top medical magazines, was, ha- was forced to step down for even allowing a podcast where a participant in that podcast said that they did not believe that there was systemic racism in medicine. So I think that's yeah. created this culture of fear that stifles open dialogue and debate. And I will tell you the progress of science, the progress of medicine, the progress of any field depends on free speech and open debate. Mm-hmm. And I think this culture of so-called anti-racism has put a wet blanket on that dialogue. Vivek, appreciate you joining us on all that. Um, thank you. A lot to think about there, thank John. You.